Dinotherium meaning turbo beast, from the ancient Greek Deinos meaning turbo and Therium meaning beast, was a large prehistoric relative of modern day elephants that appeared in the Middle Miocene and survived until the early Pleistocene. Now I will present you with five interesting facts about these prehistoric beasts. Hope you enjoy. Fact number one, downward tusks. In life, this animal probably resembled modern-day elephants, except it had downward curving tusks attached to the lower jaw. The way Dinotherium used its curious tusks has been much debated. It may have rooted them in the soil to reach underground plant parts like roots and tubers, pulled down branches to snap them and reach leaves, or strapped soft bark from tree trunks. Fact number two, widespread distribution. The Xenotherium lived during the height of the early radiation of elephants and their kin, and had a very wide range of distribution. Fossils from these animals have been found in such widespread localities as Germany, India and Kenya. Fact number three, giants among elephants. Dinotherium was a large proboscidean. Two adults of Dinotherium gigantum are around 4 meters tall and weigh between 8 and 12 tons. Out of the various species of Dinotherium, the Dinotherium thracianensis is the largest with a body mass of 13,200 kg and a shoulder height of 4.01 meters. For comparison, an average adult male African elephant has a shoulder height of 3.5 meters and a mass of 5,000 kilograms. Fact number 4. A different skull. The skull of Dinotherium is different from most other elephants. The forehead is very flat and although it has a large nasal opening, for a trunk, other features of the skull show it probably had a very small one. Other skull features, the cheek teeth and the downward curved tusks in the lower jaw, hint for it being a specialized feather. Fact number 5 Extinction As the Miocene was coming to an end, the global climate changed, becoming cooler and more arid. This caused global ecosystems to change from forested environments to grasslands, which in turn influenced mammal evolution. This trend continued into full-blown savannas in the Pliocene. Although the climate and ecosystems were changing, the diets of Dinotherium remained more or less the same. These animals changed very little. By the end of the Pliocene, traditional Dinotherium habitats had vanished and Dinotherium went extinct. The more modern elephants that had flatter ridges on their molars and better suited tusks survived to the modern days. 